Hey guys, uh, I'm new to the group and uh, I'm also a new Shaper Origin user. Um, today is April 24th, it's Friday night. And um, interestingly enough, I bought this unit for Christmas and I was telling Ted earlier today that uh, I didn't have an opportunity to really use it until yesterday and today. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys some of the something I found out and I learned throughout today in terms of workflow when using a grid and tell you a little bit about my project. Uh, it's very specific, but I know and I'm pretty sure it's going to save a lot of new users some time. Uh, this is information that I couldn't find online uh, in the countless videos that I've watched. So this is really about setting up a grid and aligning parts to the edge of a cutting piece. So uh, just to give you a quick overview of my project is I'm making a tabletop like so that has these uh, holes throughout the perimeter so that I can bolt this top onto a, an existing um, aluminum bench. So what's really critical about this setup is that not so much the dimension between them, the nine, the 9 and 3 sixteenths, but the dimension to the center of that hole from the edge uh, this way and in the x-axis as well. There's you know operations for some pocketing and through holes and this project was uh, designed in Fusion 360. I was able to use the plugin to export this out, put it into Illustrator and do some quick tips. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Uh, but since this is the first time using this machine uh, before cutting the real piece, I wanted to just take a spare spoil board of MDF that I had, uh, chop it up and pretend that this is the corner of the new tabletop. And you can see that I have already uh, mailed out two or three of those holes in different places. Uh, essentially to test the accuracy, I'm very happy to report that um, with some of the trial and error and the tweaks I've done, I'm actually holding uh, the dimension from the edge to the center or the edge of this, this opening, which is outstanding for, you know, quote unquote, a handheld device. Um, so the, the big trip is, or the big trick is, or revolves around setup. Setup is extremely important, as you know, and let's just kind of take a quick look at what I have here. So trying to give you a perspective, let's pretend that this is the piece that I'm going to be cutting. And, you know, in standard fashion, I've put some, some markers and tape uh, on the top. I might want to add, or, or I should really add another uh, row of tape down here, a little bit closer to the edge. But the key of this whole thing is having this other surface here with another line of tape that when I am indexing the work area or scanning the environment, I am able to ride on this piece right here and not only see, oh, in this particular case, there's not enough markers there, uh, but be able to see tape immediately in front of my workpiece and be able to see tape right on this edge. And what you really want to try to do is, if you're working uh, on the edge of a piece, like in my case, you want to capture an image of that edge you're laying your work on. As you can see, right on this, on this corner, you see right here, I have that element and there's going to be one cut out here on a different operation. But um, that's really the secret to making this work. So if I'm able to scan the entire area, then I have a really good visual of the edge of my workpiece. And so let me go get on top of a piece that I would be working on like so. Let me just double click. And I'm supposed to have 0.375. So I'm going to turn off the snap. So you can see, uh, it's a little harder to, to do this with one hand, 
But as I move up, I try to go back down just a hair and I'm spot on the money. So uh, again, the trick is to be able to line up your workpiece to the edge of your, or, or I should say, to be able to align your design to the physical picture that is coincident with the grid by nature. So as you're probing, um, you know, it's all about alignment. Uh, the other thing that I've seen in videos is, you know, people are probing, they have a longer piece and they're probing, you know, let's say here, and then they're coming right over here and they're probing here and then going to the end. What I've done for this, and I recommend you guys do, I'm thinking uh, it'll help with accuracy, is to probe, you know, as close to the extreme end, then probe here again, and then try to go and probe somewhere in the middle. Now, I was complaining, or I shouldn't say complaining, but I was saying that, um, speaking to support, that I couldn't really see markers when I come and I probe the side. Uh, and they told me that it is okay if I go and I turn 45 degrees as I'm probing to be able to see more of those markers. Once I've done that and, and taken the, the time to set this up properly, I mean, I am amazed uh, and so happy with the results that I'm getting that I wanted to share and help out uh, the community. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. Looking forward to making a lot of stuff. Um, and if anybody has any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks.